Video shows Israeli defense forces carrying out ground training operations in preparation for an invasion into Gaza, while President Biden and other Western leaders are pressing Israel to delay that ground invasion. This is Israel also stepped up its airstrikes over the weekend. Israelis say it struck 320 terror targets in Gaza overnight, including tunnels and operational command centers controlled by Hamas. Meanwhile, aid is moving into Gaza across the Egyptian border. New video showing that aid being handed out as several trucks were allowed into Gaza. But humanitarian groups say much more is needed to alleviate the situation. A lot to unpack right now. Let's get to ABC's Ines de la Quatera. She's live in Jerusalem. Ines? Good afternoon, Lauren and Sandra, and there's still no word on when Israel will decide to move forward with its ground invasion, but there are now growing calls for Israel to negotiate additional hostages release. As Israel steps up its aerial attacks on suspected Hamas targets in Gaza, Israeli authorities also gearing up to launch a full-scale ground invasion in the hopes of wiping out Hamas. But according to a senior administration official, President Biden and other Western allies are urging Israel to delay their offensive, hoping that any pause could allow additional hostages still being held by Hamas to be freed. Israel's defense force increasing their count of hostages taken from Israel to 222. Some Israelis gathering outside of the IDF headquarters concerned about those hostages. The IDF saying, we will begin the next stage of this war at a time that is of our choosing and best for us operationally. That expected ground war in response to the Hamas terror attack that killed 1,400. Already, more than 5,000 have been killed in Gaza, with over 15,000 injured, according to the Hamas-led health ministry. Entire neighborhoods wiped out, building after building reduced to rubble. Overnight, this refugee camp struck. Health officials in Gaza say more more than 40 were killed, mostly women and children. Rescue crews searching the rubble for any survivors. Young children rushed to the hospital. The same camp also hit by shelling on Sunday. Over the weekend, more than 30 aid trucks were allowed through Egypt's Rafah crossing into southern Gaza, bringing much needed food, water and medical supplies. But hundreds of trucks normally enter Gaza each day, and advocates say much more is needed to ease the suffering of the Palestinian people. We need secure and sustainable access in there, in that region, so that we can't feed. This is a catastrophe happening, and we just simply have to get these trucks in. And many arguing that the real solution is a ceasefire. The only thing the international community is doing is pushing for some humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip, not even a ceasefire. This is dehumanization for Palestinian people. And clashes are also intensifying along Israel's northern border with Hezbollah militants in Lebanon. Israeli towns in the north are also being evacuated with fears that that could become a new front in the war. Live